Yeah, I'm Dr. Mrinalini, Associate Professor in Department of Anesthesiology. Sir has already up with the card. Sure, sir. <laughs> Only a few lines. And uh, I'm Medical Coordinator for UHV. And so my key takeaways uh, take are, number one, body is the instrument and it is self-organized. And self is the central cause. It is the seer, doer and observer. And it has got the responsibility to take care of body. How I would implement this in my life is, my daily routine, like uh, myself and Shweta, Madam, we are colleagues, we are in the same department, same theatres. And like she said, we will have a breakfast at 7.30 and lunch definitely after 3, 4 or whenever you go home. So that used to be our routine. And one good habit I do is I somehow finish my dinner by 6.30, max by 7 and nothing after that. But uh, the in between, daytime, so we, I used to snack a lot. Uh, she will not take any snacks. <laughs> so I used to snack a lot, have teas and all junk foods. So maybe I'll reduce that. And coming to intake of sunlight. So we work for eight to 10 hours inside operation theater in air conditioned rooms. So there's absolutely no exposure to sunlight. There's no intake of sunlight. And intake of air is also, is only the circulating air. We don't get any fresh air in our department. And one more thing I observed during this breathing exercises is, you see, I have this tummy. <laughs> so and also, just they, to anesthetists, yeah. they have an exposure of uh, anesthetic excess gas. Yeah, definitely. Isofluorine excess gas. Yes, that will compensate by oversleeping. So we go yeah. home and uh, we take whatever food is there and we sleep through the day. So that is how we bring out the anesthetic gases. And regarding breathing, I said, the point I observed is, I have this tummy. So every time I breathe, I'm very conscious that I should not show my tummy out. <laughs> and I seem to tuck in my tummy and breathe through the chest. But only now, I have been doing this unconsciously for many years. But after this exercise, I realized that I'm doing it the wrong way. My breathing pattern is very wrong. And so now instead, okay, let me be, I have this, but I'll cover this. And <laughs> somehow, let me breathe normally. So that is regarding, and water, of course, I take it. Uh, I take a good intake of water. And second key takeaway is to follow seasonal routines. So, I need five more minutes, sir. So to follow seasonal routines. <laughs> so everyone in my family, we, are, we all have some allergies. So maybe that is because we don't follow seasonal routines. So I observed that throughout the year, it's the same breakfast, same lunch, same dinner, and same snacks. So we don't follow seasonal routine, and intake of fruits is very, very less in our family. And uh, maybe I would like to change that. And third uh, takeaway is, uh, today's in family environment, we need one responsible family member to take care of the family. I remember previously, when I was a kid, my mother used to wake me up, or wake me, myself, my sister, and everyone in home, she used to wake up uh, us at uh, 5.30 a.m. in the morning. But when we were kids, she used to do that. But when we started growing up and we started showing faces to her, she ultimately stopped that. But now, today, I understood that what she had been doing was she was that responsible family member in our family who was trying to keep up our well-being. But it was because of our laziness, she has come down from that and we are becoming more worse. So now I think uh, maybe I'll ask my mother to uh, start waking up us again at 5.30 and over a period of time, if I am going to become that responsible family member. She has allowed you to recognize, she has allowed you to yes, realize sir. yourself. Definitely. So even before that, I attend Didi's morning session. So from that only, she made me wake up at 5.30. But now I have to become that responsible family member to carry it over to the rest of my family, my kids and my husband also. And uh, need to include this holistic human health, definitely. I will just tell the example of my kids. My kids, we used to pack uh, easy snacks like biscuits and cakes to school. But once in school, they had each only one day, she told, no more junk food. And now every day when we pack that snacks box, my kids used to ask, is it healthy food or junk food today? So I think taking this holistic human health to school level, I think it's very important. You know, through kids, I think family can get transformed very easily for kids and through them. Yeah, that's all. And I would really like to thank Didi and Baya, you know, for, uh, I, I really hope this is going to be a very transformational change, not only for us, for our family and through us, for the entire generations to come. Thank you so much.